Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the virtual functions in C++. So in the previous video, we were talking about inheritance. And um, when you're trying to implement uh, a function that's in your base class, in your drive class, when you're redefining it, you could actually use the virtual keyword to show that that function will be overridden. And then you also have what's called pure virtual, which means that you have to override it. So we'll go into details of what that actually means. So let's make our uh, function. I'm going to have include IL stream. And then we're going to have our animal class again. So here we're just going to make um, like our standard one that we had before. A simplified version. So we have animal and then notice here we're going to use the virtual void, uh, the virtual keyword specifically, and then we're going to say std c out and then hmm, okay. And then we're just going to put private. We actually don't need anything in here. So this will be our animal class, right? And then what we want to do is derive it. So we have a class dog. So this is just a lightweight version. We're not going to care about too much of the details because we just want to demonstrate um, the basic functionalities of uh, overriding the function. So we have dog. And then here we're going to say void make sound. And then you could use the override keyword here, which will tell the user that this function has been modified from the base class implementation. So a CD C out woof, for example. Okay, so if I run this, I'm gonna run it again. Oh, I, I had to add my uh, main function to make this work. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our dog. And then I'm gonna say my dog dot make sound. So let's see what sound our dog will make. So our dog made a wolf, right? And notice that everything is working with these keywords, virtual and override. And it doesn't really do anything if you took it out. It'll still work as we showed before. But now we're going to actually look at uh, a pure virtual function. Okay, So we're actually going to hide this, or comment it out, rather. And then we have animal. And then inside here, we're going to have a public. And we have to say virtual void make sound. And the only difference now is that we're going to say equals zero because there's no implementation of make sound in the base class. And when there's virtual functions inside your base class, this is actually called a abstract base class because it has a pure virtual function. Okay, so this is a pure virtual function. So if I try running this again, you see that this will work, right? And notice that if I were to not implement this make sound, if I try running this, we're going to have problems. You see that make sound is inaccessible because um, the program is actually expecting you to implement the make sound. OK, so that's how you would do it. And just for comparison, uh, let's say we were using our previous animal class here and we had this make sound right so if we try running this we see that there's also an error because my dog doesn't have a make sound okay or, or in this case we we were just using make sound here so anyway that that shows you the pure virtual aspect of it at least and you see that um, you have to implement your function for it to work. Okay, So that's the idea of using uh, pure virtual and then having an abstract base class. And a lot of that goes into when you're designing like APIs or interfaces 
uh, interface classes. And you'll see more of that in design patterns. So you can look up that keyword for more information on that. But I'll also have some playlists later on in the future. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.